big day. Let's see what Dr. Bacon has to say first. Phew, it's not easy crafting a suit in one day. But I am me, so I did it. Oh, that looks nice. Why don't you go ahead and cry it, try it on? Uh... Ooh, we are bluer. Oh, that suits you well. Ah, the size is perfect as well. Thank you, Dr. Bacon. It feels warm. Maybe because it's made from the divine tree fruit cloth. Yeah, that was the point of it. With that suit, you can not only roam underwater, but also cold places freely. Good. Time to go down to the glacial area. Alright, so... We can now go down the glacial area. They are warning us that we're going to need a better weapon, so I don't know. I mean, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. You got the cold resistant suit that protects you from the cold environment of the glacial area. Upgrade it further using Eye Diver to dive even further. What does Sammy have to say? Check. What's up, Dave? You doing good? You seem energetic today. Yeah. yeah, man. Can you come to the chicken farm real quick? I got something to show you. No. Okay. All right, let's go to the chicken farm. Maybe we've got more eggs. We can make uh, the that shrimp dish. That's worth a lot. I mean, we might even just straight up buy some eggs. Why not? I have 8,900. Here you go. Harvested an egg. Nice. Uh, a couple of our plants look ready to go. Oh, come back here. I'm trying to talk to you. What's going on, Sammy? Yeah. I was browsing the internet to buy a new instrument, and I found some awesome stuff on sale for a limited time, so I bought them just before the sale ended. Now you don't need to worry about coming to the chicken farm when you're busy. Awesome stuff. What exactly did you- Here it is. The first item is the egg storage box. This storage can keep up to 50 eggs. Now you don't have to collect eggs every day. You can just wait until it fills up and collect them all in one go. Oh. Shut out. That's not all. Behold, the chicken feeder. Yeah. This machine automatically feeds your chickens and increases the egg production rate. Yeah. With these machines, you'll have the ultimate chicken farm. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> they're amazing. Okay. But I guess they're not free, right? Huh. Nope. I'm a bit short on cash since I'm preparing for a new album. <laughs> but I bought them at a special discount. It was pretty much a steal. Yeah. I don't think Sammy can say no as long as there's a discount. Shut up. I didn't. I didn't have that impression of him before. I'll hold on to them for now. Just tell me when you need them. Yeah. I can install them for free. <laughs> mm. Hmm. They seem pretty useful. I should think about it. So he just he's low on cash. You can now purchase a machine that will help you run the chicken farm. You can if you purchase an egg storage box, you can store up to 50 eggs without harvesting them. You can use the chicken feeder to automatically feed the chickens. You can increase the egg production rate depending on what type of feed. Good stuff. How much does it cost? 17,500 for the egg storage box. What? What? This is just a cooler. 17,500. I guess we're in a world where people are spending hundreds of dollars for some sushi, so okay. Fair enough. Chicken feeder feeds your chickens regularly to increase egg production rate. Produces a purchase to receive three days worth of feed. 5,000 for that. Or I could just get more chickens. I think I'd rather just get more chickens, really. They have, um... Can we use grade A eggs in our recipes, or do we have to use the regular eggs in them? So, that one recipe, where is it? Management here. What was it? The shrimp one. Oh, it's probably not going to show up because I don't have enough fish for it. Or don't have enough eggs for it. Oh, we just got an egg, actually, so we should. Lion poke, that's not it. Goblin shark belly roast. Goblin shark. That was the... It is kind of a boss creature, right? We were not gonna able to... We're not able to find more of it, no. They own queen soup. Um, not the taste. We're gonna look at the price now. It's somewhere around here. Hawaiian poke. Oh, here we go. Boiled and deep fried white shrimp. It makes seven dishes. I really want more of this, and I also want to enhance it. So, normal eggs. Can we use high-grade eggs for this? I don't know. But definitely keep an eye out for white leg shrimp. Um, let's just get another black chicken. Why not? Free range chicken. There you go. Uh, do I have a do I have a good name for a free range chicken? Here. Whoa, that's not I. Willy, free Willy. Got. It. Okay. So let's pick an eggplant and some carrots. Oh, that was garlic, I think. 
Uh, we can water. Oh, remove that. Apparently that plant died. And we're not planting anymore until we actually have everything cleared. We'll plant it all at once. Good stuff. Farm's doing okay. Uh, weekly fishing. What is... Okay, that's telling us about the horned parrotfish. That's definitely a priority for us. I think that's what we'll be doing first thing in the morning. So, I had been talking about going down to the sea people. Oh my goodness, look at all these new things to do. Okay, there's stuff to do in the Glacial Passage, apparently. I had been talking about going to the sea people first and buying a um, buying the materials we would need for an upgrade and stuff, but we can't actually upgrade our guns because we need other materials before that. So if I upgrade this, it goes to 800 meters. I don't really have a need to do that right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll ignore that for the time being. Also, personnel, I did send out a job request or a hiring ad, but we probably don't have any responders just yet. Waterproof box, steel net trap, sensor trap, and an ink bomb. I definitely want this. What would we catch with it, though? We could get that horned parrotfish with that. That would be pretty cool. Let's try. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work, but we'll give it a shot. And a gun. Now, we're happy with our net gun. Yeah, we're happy with the net gun. Also, the... Um, we need more truck... What is it called? Trigger? Oh. I forgot what it's called. The yellow fish. <laughs> but whatever it is. We'll find some and we'll catch them. We need some of those for our tropical dish. And then... Sharks, of course. What was the main thing we were looking for? Hold on. I think... Oh, I can't check now. Oopsie. Not Thresher Shark. Maybe it was Thresher Shark meat. Oh, Hammerhead Shark. That's what we want. We want to find those two Hammerheads. Oh, which I should be using the Steel Net Traps. No, I shouldn't. I should be using the Submersible on them. Hmm. Because we want 30 meat to upgrade our Cookster rating. Right. Oh. What's that sound? Is that our Horned Parrotfish then? Let's quickly check what this weapon upgrade is. Oh, and shrimp as well. Perfect. Happy to get more of those guys. Don't care about the triple axle, but we'll grab it for the fragments. Alright, so that must be that fish radar for the horned parrotfish. That's handy to have. Before we go there, I am going to run over this way. Fried egg jellyfish are not what we're looking for in terms of jellyfish. We want the white spotted ones. I don't come over this way very often. Okay, there's a regular... Oh, there you go. Tit Titan Triggerfish. Seeing them is what triggered that. Titan Triggerfish. Alright. Come on up here, buddy. There we are. Grab some rope. Check out what this is. Oxygen. the white spotted jellyfish were over this way. Clearly I was wrong. There's a weapon. Oh, these guys. Black, so we'll disassemble it. Okay. Ah, oh, puffer fish. What does the eel think of that? Guys, I don't think we can get it over there from here. Oh, maybe we can. Here we go. We'll have to go by a sawtooth shark, I think. Go near one. More oxygen, but I am full on items. I'm 
hoping for a harpoon tip. I like the net gun that we have, but a harpoon tip would be really nice. Helps a lot when fighting things. And apparently a tranquilizer tip is pretty good. So if we found one of those, that would not be a bad thing. Alright. So from the sound of the radar, it should be right around here. Uh, these guys in the way. Yeah, we'll just shoot them. There you go. So we can throw them away later. One and a half kilograms each. Oh, here's a white tip shark. I am happy to see him. Oh, didn't hit him somehow. Oh my. My aim is not great. Oh! Nice. Alright, so I have some ammo here. I have an item as well. Let's check that out. Let's leave it to a hammer! Yes. Although with the neck, I'm probably not using much. Oh, a marlin! Nice! Oh, is that what that was for? Maybe that's what the thing was for. I was hoping it was the horned parrotfish, but... This makes more sense to this guy. Oh. Wow. This is a sailfish, isn't it? You can tell by the yellow stripe on it. Lunch. Oh, there's two of them. Dangerous. Uh, this is where having a sniper up would be nice. What's in this box? Oh, it's triple axe. I, I guess I could swap to it. It might help. There we go. Pretty good. He just like swam into me. How rude. Got him. Oops, that was a bad shot. Here, come get me. Alright, he doesn't want to. It's fine. We'll cut off this wrench. Marlin meat. Alright, this is not a sailfish. a good amount of marlin meat. That's nice. And we'll swap our weapon. May as well disassemble this as well. I don't think it was very likely that we would have been able to put the marlin to sleep with a sleepy toy hammer. I... Uh, yeah, that's alright. I'm not going to bother going back for that ammo. Oh, there's ammo right there. Perfect. Urchin, a pressure shark. Uh, I don't feel a need to fight him right now. I don't think the pressure shark meat is worth that much. Actually, it's worth something. Better than most dishes. You can fight him. Hey, ooh, a hush shark. I wonder if that works on the marlins. Okay, the main things we really want right now the hammerhead and the horn parrotfish, of course. Are we right back at the left side? We are. Okay. I am worried about finding this horned parrotfish. Alright. You know what? I have a submersible now. I feel a little more confident about fighting him. I 
those. Oh, oh, we're good, we're good. All right, one more hit? Yeah. All right, we are now professional thresher shark hunters. And what is this? Ah, oh, yes, more Titan Triggerfish. Well, I barely used that one. Oh, you know what? Can I get this guy in three star? No. He's just too scary. Hey, a shrimp. Thank you, screen, for zooming in there. I saw another one over this side, too. Yeah, these shrimp dishes are awesome. So every one shrimp we catch makes seven dishes, essentially. Because one shrimp gives five meat, I believe. And then it's five meat per dish. A dish makes seven servings. That is a lot of fish I could catch with a single net. Barracuda as well. I'm looking for anything in particular from an item chest. Oh! I guess a better scooter is nice. Don't mind me. Alright, I want to hear- oops. I hear the fish radar beeping for a horned parrotfish. this guy. I have already been through here, right? This is... Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh! I hear the beeping. There's oxygen there, so yes, I have been through here. Alright. So the beeping stopped when I went down, which means we need to go up. Huh. Uh, oh, don't push me down. Uh, no. Ah, uh, alright. Side here. Then we can grab that oxygen capsule on the way over. Alright, so it beeped a few times while I was right there. If I go up, no beeps. Sawtooth Ferg. There's so many Harlequin hind around. If we go down, no beeps. Where the heck is this guy? Okay, so Barracuda. Uh, I wanted to grab that oxygen. Why not? And maybe a harpoon upgrade. Hopefully. Shock harpoon. Nice to see. Hmm, fossil as well. Another foot bone. Why are there so many foot bones in the ocean? Um, yeah, let's fight this guy. Tiger shark is helpful, although he is his meat is pretty heavy. I want to find the other guy first. Deal with that, and then we'll come back to the tiger shark, maybe. Olive oil, nice to find. You know what? Yeah. All right, this little puffers. I just want to say he's here. He wants to get captured. Do I have a use for Starry Puffer though? I don't remember what dishes that can make. Hey, a pink seashell! These things are a rarity. Uh, oh. That looks like boat wreckage. Is this what we're looking for here? Another foot bone? Probably. Oh, it's a skull. Alright. Oh, hi, bud. So this is the boat that we're used to. Where... Um, where is this hard airfish? I don't want to fight you, bud. Uh, huh. 
hiding up here? This looks like treasure's terrain. Let's see what's through here. A start. This feels like a special area. Probably isn't. Or maybe it is. It's worth investigating. the oxygen. I feel that's more valuable to me. Oxygen. Oh, shoot. Let's go back for this oxygen tank. Let's try. I forgot. That was rude. Alright. So, we get the beeps over on the right side. When we were in that other geyser area. Here's boat wreckage. We've seen the other boat. We've been in there. I don't really want to give up. We are certainly hoping to find that horned parrotfish. They told us it's near the boat wreckage, but I think maybe they were lying. Well, let's just keep searching around for them. I have a lot of oxygen remaining, so it shouldn't be a problem. Keep somewhere in here, right? Yeah, here we go. We're getting the beeping sound. Do we need to go upwards? We've already been upwards, right? And then now we're not going to be beeping. Let's go up. Let's see what's up here. Okay, we're getting the beeping again. Alright, maybe I was just going way too low. There he is. Holy cow. I... Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I... I thought he would be near the boat wreckage, so I didn't feel like coming up to look for him. Oh, alright. All good. We found him. We were happy. Can I get him with the steel trap? It is this little boat. This is the boat I was talking about yesterday. Oh, Dave, that's the one. What did he say? Get it without killing it? Probably. I'm going to assume he said that and try to do that. Alright, is it? Oh, no, it did not get caught. And I have some other guys around here which are going to cause issues. Can he get hurt by the puffer fish if he goes into them? Wait. What do I have to do? Do I have to guide him into the puffer fish? I wish I'd been able to read what Udo said. Here, let's see. The blue hole shallows, that's where we are right now, so you should be in here, right? But these are only the things I've caught, though. Yeah, two stars, and then actually a whole bunch of things I have not caught. Probably need to do some work on that. Alright. Um, good, now put on the suit. I know I'm not an expert in Chinese cuisine, but he's got the ingredients, so we're fine. Hmm. What do I need to do for this guy? Okay, he is not affected by the puffer Do I lead him into something? Yeah, yeah, I know he's there. Oh, we did hurt him. Okay. Oh, the fish mod is unconscious. Now capture it. All right. Good. Capture the fish mod. I should take it to Udo. Well, that was easy. Here's this little puffer guy. All right, that was very easy. Um, it was this boat all along. Fair enough, they didn't lie to us. They were telling the truth. 
They're all good. And so, now it's time to go back and look for the hammerhead shark. Want some of that meat? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are two of them today. There were two of them yesterday. One of them was hanging outside the boat wreckage, and then another one was in the boat wreckage. So I think the inside the boat wreckage is guaranteed, but maybe the one outside was a mistake. Maybe the game wasn't supposed to generate one there. Or we got lucky. Let's grab some more ammo. Good. I'm very glad we found that guy. I was worried we wouldn't be able to find him. The the raider was totally telling us where he was. I just... Yeah. I, I guess I was goofing by not recognizing that it was above us. We got there in the end, though. No worries. All these little fish. Do I need to capture them? Oh, yeah. There's a new fish. Yeah, let's get the three-star. What are these guys? Scad. Don't need the barracuda. After two different species here. There's coral trout. I want them. I hit the middle one. I get all three. Striped red mole, apparently that was new. Sweet. Oh my goodness, we're overweight. How did I do that? I guess what we'll do here. Hmm. You get rid of something. I'm not getting rid of the marlin, obviously. Pressure shark, may as well keep that. 15 kilograms for the warrior parrotfish, eh? Starry puffers, 3 kilograms each. Isn't a whole lot. But I also don't really need them. I'd rather have them over the coral trout, so we will get rid of some starry puffers. Only need to get rid of two. And... A steel net trap, is that going to help me at all? Or should I just replace it at this point? hold on to it. You never know. I I do want to use the submersible, one submersible for the hammerhead shark and one submersible for the ti tiger shark. And then maybe we'll put a a pump head parrotfish to sleep with my sleepy toy hammer. Oh, what am I saying? No, that, that we're using both submersibles. I don't know why I said that. It's the extra steel net trap that doesn't make sense. I'm sure I can't use that on a hammerhead shark. Here's the boat. Yep. Let's go get a hammerhead. And some shrimp. Black tiger shrimp. I don't have a dish for those guys, do I? Considering how valuable the white shrimp, the white leg shrimp are, black tiger shrimp are probably pretty good too. Probably better. Uh, this guy, and... Are you going to dive at us? Charge at us? Oh. Oh. What is that? Yeah, there you go. Got him. So, submersible number one. And there should be a marlin in here. Maybe we'll use submersible number two on him instead of the tiger shark. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Can we get this? No, no, no. That's not going to work on him. We already tried, didn't we? On the sailfish? Let's try. Oh, it did work. That's awesome. There we go. Good value there. Wait, is that... What is that? I left something over here. Curry block. A Japanese curry powder that comes in blocks. Sweeter than Indian curry. Huh. Never seen that before. 
Well, that was pretty good. We're at 124 out of 125. I don't feel I need to go get the tiger shark now because we won't be able to carry all of this meat. We can carry maybe 10 kilograms of it. So... Do we need tiger shark meat? I don't think so. I think we'll be fine without it. Pearl trout. I like having those guys. Um, of course, I've taken too much weight now. That was pretty easy to see that we would end up with more weight. 124.5 out of 125. Alright. So, capture the horned parrotfish. Enter the glacial area is our next objective. We'll be doing that in the afternoon here. We'll grab some fragments. And a shrimp. Oh, oh. He's got good defensive measures. There we are. Alright, alright. Let's super swim our way to an escape pod. There's one. I need to avoid being seen by this. Oh, is that a marlin? Or is it a barracuda? That's a barracuda. Okay. Unfortunately, now this guy has spotted me. Well, I guess that means extra meat for us, doesn't it? Not bad. You want to attack? No, he's just watching me. Taking it easy? There. Oh, 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 I forgot about this guy. He turns very quickly. Relatively. Uh, okay. What we'll do? Get rid of the barracuda. Throw him away. Where is he? 70 kilograms, right? There he is. Turn to fighting the saw shark. Tooth. Saw tooth shark. Oh. Just as he's turning. There. Chop him up. Okay, now I'm very full. Grab some oxygen before we're heading to the surface. And a piece of glass? Nope, can't carry it. It's interesting that it lets us pick up anything while we're over capacity, though. I am surprised by that. The previous weapon we dropped on the ground, you can switch back. Okay. 51 caught! Wow. So, white leg shrimp, we got a few of those. 19 meat, apparently. So it's not actually 5 per shrimp. I'm not sure what it is, then. We got some black tiger shrimp. Marlin meat. Blue head tilefish is new, and striped red mullet. And the sailfish meat. 27 sailfish meat! Whoa! Okay. Pretty awesome. 15 hammerhead meat. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough. For us to upgrade our recipe twice. <gasps> Oh, you brought this new fishmon for our collection. Hmm, huh? a parrotfish with a helm and horns. The readership will go crazy over this. I'm excited to see how many of the upcoming issues will sell when it's published Monday morning. When the issue's out, we'll bring you a fee for your work. Yeah. Please keep up the good work. Mm. Um, well, if there's a fee I'm getting for this, this might be a serviceable weekend side hustle. All right. Can we check it out in the codex? Uh, where is the codex? Normally I press the t Oh, no, of course, there it is. Fish one, right there. Warrior parrotfish. Why was I calling it a horned parrotfish? It was a warrior port parrotfish all along. Wearing a tough bone helmet that blocks all frontal attacks. Nice. Does that mean there's going to be more of it? No, probably not. I can't serve it. Um, Alright. Check... What do we have in the shop here? So, a waterproof box would be helpful. Yeah, let's take that. And then enter the glacial area. I'm going in with a net gun. I, you know what? They can warn me all they want. I'm doing it anyway. The glacial area. Do we need anything from... No, we don't need anything from the sea people. I have 6,800 money. 
So we're saving up money. Hopefully we sell a fair amount tonight. And then we can upgrade our cargo box, maybe even. Alright. Lots of fish around. We get a couple with this shot. I was getting very excited. <laughs> Investigate regional ecology. Got some mayonnaise, nice. This little guy and that little guy. Together. There we are. Alright, let's head down. Let's see what we can find. There is a very real possibility that we will just die to whatever's down here. Wow, it's really warm. It's completely different from before. Well, time to really explore the sea, the area. Considering they warned us to have a better gun, it's very possible we'll find something dangerous. Like that. Narwhal. Alright. Um, well, this is very cool. Eh, eh. No, it's like, this is a really neat area. Wow. I guess we should probably check out the narwhal. By check out, I mean fight. Alright, here he is. Oh, he's like a hammerhead. Except he seems a little more agile, I bet. Alright, he's charging. Oh, I missed. Okay, no, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, we can fight this. No worries. Well, he turns quite quickly. Fast turn and attack. But he has a decent amount of charge of attack. Oh, oh, what? Oh, my. I thought I was out of the way there. Um, I don't have oxygen. This is scary. Uh-oh. Alright. No choice but to fight. Alright. We scared him off. <laughs> That's a shovel. That will not help us survive. I need oxygen. Oxygen? Black coral. Oxygen? Man, he did a lot of damage with that one hit. Weapon. Is this thing dangerous? Looks like it's mean. I don't have time to be dealing with this. Oh, he just wanted to poison us. Nice of him. Thanks, buddy. Real nice. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So it is a dangerous area. We learned. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I think we'll take the Arctic Cod. Three star. Oh, gelatin still. What am I saying? Hang on. Polar eel pout. This doesn't matter. Hmm. Black coral is a new thing. Take that. All right, well, that went about what I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. It's okay. I will have to upgrade the weapon. We're not going down there with the net gun next time. We'll use a proper weapon. Although, I really, I I can totally feel, fight that guy. I was just a little bit cl too close. I didn't move up far enough. Um, I could have definitely avoided it. Do we go for an evening dip? I'm not sure that we do. We could maybe find a hammer. No, we can't find a hammerhead shark because the boat doesn't seem to be there at night time. I'm going to say, okay, we did get some more mayonnaise, but I also want more other ingredients. I think we want a salt, maybe? Oh, look. Mitchell, James, Itsuki, and Yusuke. I don't want any of these people. Maybe James. Looks like he starts off with 85 cooking. He might be worth having on the team. And we'll go to the farm here. Finish upgrading our seeds. Nice. So next time we go to the sea people, we'll get some seeds upgraded further. The sea grapes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching over our stuff, Otto. I can take these weeds out. And then also over here. Good. Alright, Otto. I think we're going to be buying some more seeds from you. A lot of these plants ahead of time. This ground ahead of time. We'll get a bunch of carrots. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six bases, right? Good stuff. No eggs to collect, otherwise it would have told us that right away when we entered the area. Um, apparently I cannot refill- oh, I have to have the watering pan selected. Makes sense, fair enough. I should have gone back to sushi. I just realized something I could have done when we were dying there, running out of oxygen. I could have put down that box that I had and put some of the fish in there. At least carried 10 kilograms worth of stuff back. Sorry. We've got the, um, we've got the, the showdown, right? Here we go. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown and challenge the chef. Banjo, are you ready? Of course. And Wang Peng? The same. I can't wait. Excellent! Then let's begin challenge the chef now! <laughs> Got a chipmunk voice. Blue tiger. Begin! Oh, this is a mini game of some kind? Bancho will compete with a famous chef in a new TV show. Let's bring him the ingredients he asked for. Crap, carrots. Uh oh. Do I just click? Uh, S. Oh, do I press S? Okay, that's it. Got it. I can press S. <laughs> Crap, the onions. Uh, okay. It's a little bit slower. Spacebar, S. Okay, nice, nice. Prep the stargazer, okay. Uh, okay, give this space. Oh, shoot, hold A, sorry. S. <laughs> a. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. That was not perfect. I like this. Coat the fish with the starch. Little tofu box. Uh, oh, click. Am I am I doing it right? I'm rotating. All right, click. Right click. Click. Do this a lot. Oh, do I have to do it a little slower? Maybe that's what it is. Click. click. Oh, it's take a long time. Am I doing something wrong here? We rotate really fast. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Yeah, we've we'll, we got plenty of time. We'll be fine. Ooh, perfect, apparently. Fry the fish in oil. Oh, hold space. Okay. Huh. Thing. Be hard to mess that one up. Stir fry. Uh, right. Nice. Put the pan. <laughs> this is good. Got it. Looks like mushrooms. Where are those? Whoa. I'll be honest, I think Wang Pang's dish looks better. I, I'd rather eat that. But we know that Banto is a master. Oh, he won! Banjo accepts it. 
99 versus 89. Whoa, he had an almost perfect score. I'm assuming he's out of 100, not 1,000. Well done, Bancho. Oh no, I lost, but I am the best chef in Hong Kong. But you're not in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wang Peng. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Bancho's dish. It gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time fish tasting the fish. Bancho gave me a perfect blend of the interesting and fresh taste of a Stargazer and the classic taste of the sweet and sour sauce. If we're talking only about the taste, yours was better, Wang Pang. But I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present a foreign taste in a familiar way. My final ver verdict is Bancho. Congratulations! Oh, Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts. I wanted to present the... Ban Thank you, Bancho. The champion saves words for more action and we love it. Today's winner of Challenge of the Chef is Bancho, the defending champion. What a competition. What a judgment. See you next time. This was Reporty Yui. Well, Bancho seems pretty proud of himself. He's holding up his arm in a victorious pose. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wang Pang in the area of expertise. In his area of expertise. Hmm. Who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is a fair game. Why do I have this feeling that the show will return again? But I have full confidence in your victory. Speaking of the contest, I got some new inspirations for Chinese cuisine while preparing for the competition. I'll write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Mmm, 50 likes. We are getting very high on the likes. 384 out of 200. So staff, let's have a look at what James is capable of. Check out his details. Cooking plus and ingredient prep for more dishes. He has up to 800 in cooking. Is that better than Tohoku? We've definitely seen better than 800 in cooking though, with other people. Like, not Mitchell. Tuki, what do you get to? Or, no, not her. 932 on the serving up. Details. 850. So actually, Yusuke gets better. Hmm. He's also very good at procuring. But uh, we would want him for the number of plates and the cooking ability increase. Looking back at our people. So, Toku, what do you have as first skill? Cooking ability increase permanently. You don't know what his second skill is. He's not very good at procuring, actually. So, if we didn't have him doing this. The money that we've invested in Tohoku would be kind of gone. He's level 5 right now. If we say he's going up about 30 per level, then 15 levels from now will be another 450. So, meh. Not very good. Not very good, I'd say. Oh, we cannot rank up El Nino, though. We have a lot of money. He already has the skills that we want. You know what? We're going to get... Uh, I for forgot his name already. Our new hire is Yusuke. We need Yusuke. Hire him. Yeah. At the very least, he's good at procuring, so upgrading him doesn't feel too bad. So, swap this guy for Yusuke, and train Yusuke a little bit. I don't want to spend all of our money because I do intend to save up a little bit and get some more upgrades. But... We'll get him at least... Oh yeah, he's got the 5% chance of increasing stuff, so... Let's get him to at least where, um... <laughs> the previous employee we had cooking was at. We learned a new recipe, too. He said, what was he at? 267 or something? So, one more upgrade here. And we'll actually get that second skill. Cooking ability increase, so 330. That's a big jump. Mm, yeah, that should be good. 1300, I'm not going to spend that much for... Increase, but it's an increase of 40, not bad. Alright, Mackie's still our he our lead sous chef, and uh, and El Nino and Raptor are still amazing at their jobs. So, research. We have a lot of stuff to research. Fried rice with Sally, Lightfoot Crab. Okay, so now we have a dish for the Lightfoot Crab. That's quite good. 385 money and 7 dishes, or 7 servings. Blobfish Spring Roll. Oh, okay. That's a good use for Blobfish. Tomato Egg Soup. Where do we get tomatoes from? But that's nice. Eight dishes. None of these are amazing for happiness, but I guess we just need to enhance them a lot. Fried tomato and snailfish. Stellet hugger. What is that? Puffer. Mianbo Zia. 
Fried minced shrimp placed between slices of square bread. Boiled white shrimp and black shrimp. Give it a fresh taste. Well, I'm interested in what this is. Let's check it out. The two shrimps. Excellent. And blobfish spring roll. This seems like a good use of blobfish, so well worth the research. Tomato egg soup. I'm not interested in using up our vegetables. We have other uses for them, I think. Fried tomato and snail fish. Yeah, what's this about tomatoes? Oh, hold on. I can check. Yeah, cherry tomatoes and beans. We don't have those. I didn't realize. I can check the ingredients. Grade A egg. Okay, there's yeast for those. Sally Lightfoot crab needs grade A eggs, rice, and black pepper. Those are the things we could use. Salad puffers. Oh, starry puffer. Here we go. Starry puffer and agar and soy sauce gets us 180 in five dishes. That's not great. It's okay. All right, mullet. This thing, salt pepper, starry pepper right there. With rice, gets us 220, but only one dish. Trout, sea grapes, coral trout. We're using that for other dishes. Ooh, what was this? Boiled salt, boiled sailfish. Okay, southern bull kelp. All right, we haven't found any of that, so we're probably not going to be making this in time for the event. But marlin meat, and garlic, and miso. So we should probably grow some garlic. Unfortunately, I've already started growing the eggplant instead. But we will research this because we can at least make three of that dish. Yeah, sure. All right, that's enough researching. Let's go to the menu, have a look at our taste levels. Upgrade the hammerhead to 234. We are close. <laughs> I haven't seen this one in a little while. This was the first cinematic we had, I think. The first Banjo cinematic. Alright. Enhance complete. It's worth a fair amount. It makes people quite happy, but we need an additional 10 to enhance it, and then one more just to serve it. So, yeah, I guess tomorrow we'll be able to find another hammerhead shark and then get that done. We can upgrade the thresher shark meat. Yeah, why not? Okay. Just threw us all the way down there because we ran out of ingredients. Now we'll look at the prices of things. Ooh, we can enhance our tropical fish sushi set. It's going to take up all of our rice, though. We need a lot more rice. 600 money each, though. Wow. Do I hold off? Do I not serve any tonight? Now the rice is the limiting factor, eh? So, what I'm going to do is I'll serve one set of this tonight. It's our special, right? And then we will get more rice, hopefully harvested tomorrow, and enhance that and then serve it at 600 each. This is the Miambo Sia. I don't know how to pronounce it. Wheat, olive oil, and these guys. So, 375. If we were to use up four wheat, we would increase this to 487 each. And it makes seven dishes, so we can afford that, and then we'll have to grow some more wheat for the future. We can also buy wheat, actually. Hold on. Yeah, we don't have to grow it. We can also buy it at the farm from Otto himself. Same goes for... The rice, right? We could buy more rice. Hold on. Let's go back, take this off the menu. Delete menu? Oh no. Yeah, you know, let's go find auto. Hold on. Sorry guys, just wait. I'll be back in time for the opening. All right. Auto. You have any rice for us? And the rice patty. There you go. Purchase three of these. 450, well worth it. And. What was the other thing we needed? Wheat? It is quite expensive. Maybe it's not worth it. But I want to serve people these things, so. To me, it's worth it. And. Hold on, hold on. Should we expand the rice patty? 
Not the rice paddy, the other paddies. Oh, the rice paddy as well, actually. How much does it cost to expand these things? Expand the rice paddy for 3,000. Expand the field for 2,440. Um, we are using a lot of these resources now. Might be a good idea to expand the field. The rice is needed as well, though. We'll expand the rice paddy once we've harvested this rice. I don't want to accidentally overwrite it and lose that crop. So expand the field first. Add six more tiles. All right. I'll slightly expand the vegetable farm by tomorrow morning. And that's by tomorrow morning. So we can't plant them right now. That's all right. No worries. We'll head back to the farm in the morning. Hopefully get some eggs. Hopefully get some rice. To the sushi restaurant. Okay. So, sorry guys, thanks for waiting. I got us, oops, got us some more rice. So we can enhance this now. To 600 money each. There we go. And we have enough to serve six of that dish. And then we also had um, the wheat for this guy. Now we have seven dishes already going out, I guess. Maybe we'll just serve one set of these each night. I could put out more right now, but we won't. Not using the Marlin stuff. Sweet and sour stargazer. Blue spot is stargazer. Wheat, eggs, olive oil. Uh, I don't want to use up our wheat. I'd rather hold on to it for the Mianbao Zia. Pelican eel sushi. Vampire squid. We should have some of our white tip uh, shark head, right? Boiled and deep fried white shrimp. Now this one's pretty good. Takes up two of our eggs. Only 225 money, actually, so now I think about it. Maybe that's not worth it. But we can make this instead. This is way better. Eggs, mayonnaise, wheat, olive oil. Those are the main things that we eat. Marlin sushi. We have a lot of marlin available to us. I still keep passing on the more eel. White whole roasted shark head. Unfortunately, this is not worth much anymore. And it uses up some of our olive oil. We'll put it out for old time's sake. But, yeah, it's, uh... You know what's funny is we have so many ingredients. We're capturing a lot of fish every day, and I still feel like we're low on everything. I'm going to put out a Megamouth Shark, and then we will auto supply that. Hmm. Elephant tuna. I don't want to use up the tuna. Blobfish. Oh, wait a second. What was that blobfish recipe we got? Where did that go? Good way to check things that use other things. Did I research it? I think I did. Get ready to start things. Taste, dish. Um, what does searching my dish do? Oh, by how many we can make of it. Okay. <laughs> Long spine squirrel fish. Apparently we have quite a few of them. I don't have any other use, so let's enhance and see how high we can get the happiness. It's close. Pretty close. Harlequin hind. Ooh. No, I'm not going to use it for this. Agar to Corotin. Agar and soy sauce, but I'm not going to use those ingredients for this. All right. We don't need to search by this. Um. Oh, what's the level? Max level eight. Oh, okay. Sure. Chambered monotonous. I don't have any other use for these guys, right? urchin. I want the fancy recipes that we've researched. Five white. Probably even help in soy sauce, but it's not worth much. Dumbo octopus sushi. Or out. Okay, so can I check research? No. Unless I passed on it, right? Did I pass? No, I'm pretty sure I got it. Did it require the kelp? Is that the one that I didn't have the resource for? I thought I didn't research the one that I didn't have the resource for. My price. 
Oh, I guess everything's down here. Vegetable sushi, blobfish, spring roll. Oh, we don't have blobfish. How did that happen? Okay, well that's why. That's why we can't make it. We don't have the main ingredient. Fair enough. Smooth hammerhead, we're not selling that. We can sell a couple of these, sure. Pelican meal, sure. Um, vampire squid. I feel there must be a better use for vampire squid. Bolt squid. Sure, we're selling squid tonight. Not all of it. Put five out. And how many dishes do we have? So six, five, one, two, two, five. Uh, puts us at a total of like 21. We want about nine more dishes. Sailfish, no, we're not using that. Uh, it's interesting, we're actually running out of things. Boiled and deep fried white shrimp, that's just not a good use of our shrimp. Okay, we'll put out another seven of these. Hey everybody, I hope you like Manbozia. Having a bunch of that tonight. Wait, what? Did I just overwrite the one that we already had, or did I not put it out before? Well, I don't know what happened there. Maybe I hadn't put it out before. We're gonna open the sushi bar, and hopefully we have enough food for everyone. We do have that one thing on auto supply, the Mega Mouth Shark, so should get enough. Did I just not put that on the menu? That may have happened. May be the case. Alright. So let's get over here, fill the wasabi. I am going to have to be out there cleaning dishes soon. I'm not sure which of these guys asked first. There you go, that works. I can get this fast guy, he's, a, he's fast at the team. Alright, let's get back to the wasabi. Apparently nobody's doing dirty dishes. I'm going to clean up after himself. Well done. Alright. Wow. Oh, people are loving it. And we have enough food, it looks like. Oh, here you go. Dirty dish. I actually put out too much. People are not into the fruit platter, surprisingly. I wonder why that is. Oh, the music just changed. Ah. Huh. What prompted that? All right. Okay. Well, we'll increase our cooks to rating tomorrow. <laughs> we did make more money today. That's nice.